Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about planting amaryllis. If you are out and about in the garden centers, grocery stores, everywhere, you will find this beautiful amaryllis bulb at this time of the year. And they are so, so beautiful. And typically they are planted sometime between October, November, even all the way up till December. Um, for some winter blooms. A lot of people plant them for the holidays so that you can have these beautiful blooms for the holidays. So I think for me personally, I think I've missed that window of opportunity because it's already um, second week to third week of November when I'm planting this. So I should be seeing some blooms from this amaryllis sometime in um, January from my guests. Uh, so it can take about six to eight weeks before it will start to bloom. Um, so amaryllis is a very easy plant or bulb to kind of put in your indoor garden because it's easy, no fuss, doesn't require too much care. It does not like too much water. So it's kind of a nice, um, nice bulb to plant in the winter and look forward to some winter blooms. Um, so just a few things I want to go over. One is the variety. They come in a lot of sizes and a lot of different colors and a lot of different varieties. But today I'm in this video, I will be planting an amaryllis called mammoth pink. Um, it is supposed to have a really, really tall uh, size. So it's going to get up to almost four feet, uh, three to four feet tall. And um, the bloom size is pretty pretty significant as well and it's going to bloom in six to eight weeks and if you look at the color of this one it is gorgeous it has a white and pink mix and it's got a lovely green center and I absolutely love this bulb so I'll show you what the bulb looks like it looks like it's so giant it's so gorgeous it has some healthy roots and it also has some other um little bulbs at the base as well which tells me that it's super healthy and it's happy and it's got a lot of energy inside it to to grow and this is um the pot that actually this is where the shoots will grow from and it could grow anywhere from um three to four shoots and lots of blooms depending on the size and depending on the variety um and also how long you've had the bulbs so this is the pot that i'm going to be using so Rule of thumb for planting amaryllis is do not use a very big pot. It, it is obviously not going to be buried too deep. I'm only going to fill um, soil up to halfway to this bulb, not deeper than that. And I will be planting it in this container. And then, um, so, the, so the bulb will be mostly exposed on top and the soil would be sitting around over here and I will lightly water it today and then that's it and I'm going to leave it in a bright location and watch it grow and occasionally water it maybe once every week to 10 days if it's dry I would touch the soil and make sure that it's um, watered when it's dry so this is the beautiful terracotta pot that I'm using for this I think it's going to look really pretty with this bloom that's going to uh, grow inside here and I love how it looks with the with the textures of this bulb and I actually do not want to add anything on top to cover it because I feel this bulb it itself is so beautiful and so pretty and so colorful that I kind of want it to be more organic um, to go with this beautiful organic terracotta aged pot so that's the pot that I'm going to be using um, and the soil I will be using today is this beautiful container mix uh, it's by veranda it is an organic I think it's an organic um, mix and it, it's good for container because it has coconut husk fiber that retains water longer so you don't have to water it that often and um, and it is also quite nutrient rich as well so I don't have to add anything in terms of fertilizer or anything in in here um, so I will be using this and the and the company that makes the soil is uh, Farfard. So that's the Farfard or far, yeah, Farfard. And that's the soil I generally pick up from my local um, nursery. And it's, it's worked out really well for me for the home, um, 
home, any house plant that I've used it on has thrived and done well with this soil. So that's the soil I'm going to be using. This is the pot that I'm going to be using. And the mammoth pink is the variety that I will be planting today of the amaryllis. So let me get the soil in this container and I'll show you step by step what I am doing um, to get this planted. Like I said, the steps are very simple. I'm just going to fill it. Um, halfway with soil and, and and put this bulb in there and that's pretty much it and just li lightly cover it with some more soil and the key is that it shouldn't cover all the way up to the bulb because when you water you don't want water to be going in this part of the amaryllis bulb you want the water to stay down below over here so that's it i'm going to get this planted and i'll show you um when it's all done i wanted to show you that i have filled this pot with a quarter um a quarter of the pot with the soil and I am going to insert the bulb in this container now and what I'm going to then do is um, fill the sides with additional soil so making sure that you're not because um, because this container is very um, tight with the bulb there isn't much room for a lot of soil and it really doesn't need a lot of soil it just needs a little bit of soil so that it can it can kind of, the roots have somewhere to absorb the moisture from and grow. So that's really all you're trying to achieve with this. So I'm going to really pack in the soil um, uh, in, on the sides and you can use a slightly larger pot if that's what you want. It also really looks good in groups of three. Um, it may require some staking as it grows because it is a very, um, tall amaryllis a lot of them will flop over so i will stake it once it, it is growing but right now i don't think it needs anything and this pot is quite sturdy it is a very um, heavy terracotta pot so i really don't need um, need to provide it with a lot of um, staking at this moment it's going to take some time to grow and i can always add some some twigs or some kind of bamboo stakes or something to kind of uh, tie it to if I need to or to support it. So so that's it. So I've added the salt, uh, sorry, not the salt, the soil on the sides. Um, and, um, and I'm kind of just adding and squishing the soil right at the base. Uh, and that's it. I'm not going to add any more soil. As you can see, the way this has been planted, it is it is a little bit slanted, which I actually really like, but I'm going to move it a little bit so it's slightly more straight, but I like how this looks organic with the pot and it's a little bit slanted and I love how this is looking. I love how this bulb looks with, um, with this reddish kind of tinge on it, which I think looks so, so pretty in, with the bulb and it looks super nice with this with this pot so that's really it about planting amaryllis i mean there isn't anything else you need to do with it it's just simple and easy fun little bulb to plant for the winter and that's pretty much it and i'm going to go ahead and clean up this mess that i have made here but i wanted to take you along today and show you what I was, how I was planting this amaryllis bulb and I encourage everyone to give it a try. It's such a beautiful um, flower and you are sure to be going to be amazed when it blooms because it is a beautiful, beautiful flower. And I will follow up with you once this blooms and show you what the blooms look like. Sometime I'm hoping in January this was this was going to bloom and maybe it might even bloom um, by the new year. So it says six to eight weeks, so it, it could probably possibly grow and bloom by then. So excited to have this in the pot and take you along and show you what I was doing with this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are planting amaryllis at this time of the year as well, do let me know what varieties you are planting. Um, and uh, which ones are your favorite. Um, I'm going to try this one out this year and uh, let's see how this one does. So with that, thank you again so much for watching this video. I hope everyone has a fabulous day wherever you are joining me from.